praise the lord all glory and honor to jesus forever and ever amen kindly sit down in the presence of jesus while we are sitting looking to jesus divine power that is coming out from the sacrament and we all are being surrounded in his presence all glory and honor to jesus forever and ever amen today the lord gives a wonderful promise that is from matthew chapter 6 verse 33 seek the kingdom rest of the things will be provided you kingdom means the kingdom of god that is heaven so we all have to think how to get eternal life we live not only for this life alone but we arrange and rearrange our life so that we may have eternal life and whatever we do in this life that should not affect our eternal life so when we have some serious effort to protect our eternal life and just after the death lord i want to be in your house if we have that decision and live a life according to that desire not to lose the eternal life rest of the things that we need in our life will be provided as well one lady was in depression and she was going to commit suicide and she took a piece of rope and uh, going to hang on the branch of a tree on the way Uh, she met her friend then there was drizzling and uh, this woman who is going to commit suicide took an umbrella also then the friend asked where are you going i am going to commit suicide life is too heavy there is no meaning i am suffering from depression no escape i am going to finish my life then why you need this umbrella anyway you are going to die no i have fear of this cough and cold so if i get this wet my head i will get cough and cold <laughs> so what is most important the life or cough and cold ah uh, so in the same way this kind of foolishness we also do sometimes we are asking for uh, healing and also prosperity fellowship wonderful family land and a house with a garden around it we are asking for it but where we will go after our death when we have that a sense of eternity and reorganize everything in this life as if that we are going to die this day where i will be then if i or you and i have a certainty that surely we will be in heaven such kind of certainty in the life and seeking the eternal life everything that you need you will get it healing of cough and cold house with the garden children and also field everything that will be provided that's why jesus has given this promise you have to seek the eternal life with jesus with jesus you are eternal life is granted hebrews chapter 725 all those who seek eternal life and god almighty through jesus christ are perfectly blessed so when you and i believe in jesus after our death we will be in heaven so when we seek jesus and his eternal kingdom rest of the things that we will receive hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. so that is the uh, clue of today's promise deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 5 Deuteronomy 29:5 I have led you from this place through the wilderness how many years 40 years and your clothes would wouldn't on out and the shoes or sandals that you had didn't on out how this happened 40 years living with one dress and one pair of shoes how it is possible the lord provided that means there's renewal and revival and restrengthening happened in the same dress 
or i have an imagination that they change their dress every day god has placed in their cupboard imagination why their cloth is not spoiled for 40 years and their shoes didn't on out they are always in the hands of god god is carrying them so they are not using anything they are carried by the hands of god anyway god himself said this message 40 years i led you through the desert your clothes didn't spoil and your shoes didn't on out the reason that i have provided your cloth and your shoes i have provided i have protected such kind of divine providence lift up our hands today's promise lead us towards divine providence you and i will get everything provided that we have a sense of eternity after this life if you have a certainty i have a certainty that i will be with jesus in in heaven because i live a life according to this book i am a doer of the word of god so when you are the doer of the word of god you and i have a certainty that we will be in heaven rest of the things for the doers of the word of god will be granted freely amen thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord praise you lord praise you lord keep our hands down look into jesus let us offer all our intentions let us offer all our intentions and prayers in the name of jesus i pray over the list of your intentions that you have already prepared and sent to logos through this online ministry or chat box or you have sent through email sms whatsapp and you have prepared your intention list and already placed in the bible where there is a promise especially you keep your intentions in matthew chapter 6 verse 33 you are seeking the eternal life the lord says all your prayers are going to be answered answered galatians chapter 6 verse 15 this is most important you are eternal life and new life and a spirit filled life rest of the things will be granted to you the most important doesn't take place in your life less important will not be provided if you gain the whole world matthew 16 verse 24 and 26 if you gain the whole world and profit your eternal life what profit that you have hallelujah, hallelujah. so deny yourself for take up the cross follow jesus verse 26 says if you gain the whole world and forfeit your eternal life what profit that you have thank you jesus thank what you profit jesus. that you have if you gain the whole world and forfeit your own life eternal life how you will get it so many of our prayers are not answered because we have no sense of eternity not eternal life thinking that this life will be itself we may not have a life after death many of our prayers will not be answered instead we will be a wretched people romans chapter 15 verse 19 and first corinthians chapter first corinthians chapter 15 verse 19 if you believe and live in Christ Jesus only for uh, these temporary things, we are wretched people. We are hopeless people. So today's promise, just remember, have an eye in heaven. Then uh, these people, as God said in Deuteronomy, they are going to a promised land. Because they are going to the promised land, what God has promised, they want to achieve it. On the way, God has provided everything. Clothes, shoes, water, 
food healing this all they have received for 40 years because god said you are going to have a destination and you have to reach there god asked them to go now come to our life jesus has asked us to go to heaven so our journey from this life to heaven so we are on a pilgrimage that's why catholic church says the church on earth is a pilgrim church so we all are on a pilgrimage and our aim is to reach in heaven if you and i have this idea in our heart to reach heaven we organize and reorganize our life not to lose heaven surely all that we need will be provided food cloth medicine shelter water rest of the things as god has promised today through the promise word will be provided hallelujah hallelujah yes turn our hands towards jesus you and i are on a pilgrimage our final destination is the house of god our final destination is house of god and if we are living if we are living our head turn to heaven and if you are leaving to receive heaven and we are going to the house of god and we have a decision not to lose it surely in this pilgrimage in this journey in this life what you are in need that will be provided offer all your intentions once again let all your prayers be answered all prayer intentions be fulfilled because you are on your journey towards father's house you have a sense of eternity you have a decision not to lose it we live not only for this life but for eternal life our eternal life is guaranteed when we believe in jesus because he died on the cross by his death he has cancelled our eternal death by his resurrection he has opened the door of heaven and if we have a decision to enter into heaven and a life style suitable to heaven in this world all things will be provided all of you are going to be healed because your final destination is heaven so all those who are living a heavenly life that means a life we just dream to have in heaven heavenly life will be provided everything but plenty of persecutions because they will wanted to take you to his home not to the god's house second timothy chapter 3 verse 12 so those who are going towards heaven devil will persecute you to retrieve you to return you don't enter that place i persecute you i will not allow you to enter into heaven a beautiful place so the devil persecuting you second timothy godly life spiritual life intended to go to heaven they will be persecuted by devil and demon possessed people god will not persecute you good people will not persecute you devil and demon possessed will persecute you but you will overcome it in christ jesus romans 8:37 all the more we are conquerors and we will conquer the heaven also thank you jesus thank romans 8:37 with all this reflection let us begin our chaplet for the fulfillment of all our intentions your prayers are going to be answered my prayers are also going to be answered everything that you need from a to z will be provided amen thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus and 40 years god did it for his people because all of them looking towards a promised land now our journey is looking to heaven in that journey we have a star star of bethlehem without miss guidance we will reach that place who is the star of bethlehem jesus. that is jesus christ the star of bethlehem so look at jesus 
arrange our life in this world always be with jesus if anything is just taking you away from jesus say goodbye and being and looking to jesus being with jesus looking to jesus surely you will get everything because your journey will end up in heaven rest of the things freely given to you Pray for us, so O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of promises of Christ. What is that promise? Matthew 6.33. Will you get it? That yes. heavenly abode? Yes, Father. Surely you will get it. Jesus. Because we believe in Jesus and live according to the message preached by Jesus. So let us see in heaven together. Not today. Because we have to complete our retreat and complete our chaplet also. on his own time in his own time we will be all in heaven thank you jesus thank you jesus mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise all the time God is jesus good. is lord now and forever so where are you going now you are going to heaven and will you reach there surely you will reach there because you have faith in jesus and you are looking to the star of heaven as star of bethlehem you are looking to jesus surely you and i will reach that place not today or tomorrow but one day we will reach there and on this journey everything will be provided health wealth house children whatever we need that are already prepared around us first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 already prepared we need a spirit of revelation to select and grab it that around to you and your eyes have not seen because spirit has not revealed it heart has not perceived it because holy spirit has not revealed it so we have to have a spirit filled life then what god has already prepared for our earthly journey that we will get it we will see it and we will grab it through the through the spirit of revelation so let us begin in the chaplet to receive a powerful anointing today guidance of the holy spirit today so that we may seek the kingdom of god and we live a life not missing the kingdom of god then we believe that jesus will provide everything because he himself has promised it but plenty of persecutions will be there there will be a chance to give up our faith also but some people will come and confuse us don't believe this will not happen this sickness will not be healed god will not help you only this life is available other life is only a chance we do not know so don't believe it that is called temptation from the devil there was a man in the bible came and told the people give up your yahweh the lord he will not help you this time isaiah 36:15 sennacherib the assyrian king came with a huge army and he sent a representative a messenger go and tell these people don't wait for yahweh give an up because god will not help you your god is not able to help you but they believed what they believed surely the lord will make us free from the hands of assyrian king and we will not be in bondage but this messenger said no no don't say like that kesagya will betray you but what what hesagya said is true what he said 
surely our god will deliver us and we will not be in captivity captivity of assyrians then they are waiting and waiting but the persecution temptation and also the messenger said surrender give up your faith surrender but god intervened according to their faith what the lord did isaiah 37 verse 36 one angel came with a sword you have seven swords in your hand we are going to use the seven swords but one angel came with one sword and he just moved in the assyrian camp 185 persons within one second died and king senakarib ran away from the place all his army perished how god comes to our life when we look to jesus and when we are going to heaven nobody will destroy you i tell you because you have a shepherd most powerful no devil or demons or lion or tiger will come and attack you because he is a powerful shepherd he has thousands of army one angel comes with one sword 185 enemies will be finished within one second how many angels are ready to work for you 72000 jesus said matthew 26 53 if i asked my father don't you think that he will send 12 legions of angels for my protection my escort one legion means nearly nearly 6000 then 12 legion mean 12 12 into 6 minimum 72 thousands angels are ready to come with you to fight when you are with jesus and one angel's power to manage 185 enemies praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah because you are very precious you are a child of god when you believe in jesus whatever be your religion or faith or creed or language you are a child of god this provision is available for you 72000 angels will come and help you so we have wonderful testimonies today powerful testimonies the proof that how they all are protected from their enemies from their sickness from their deadly situations they had temptations their friends might have told them don't believe like this this will not happen but they still believed and they received they released their testimony today let us begin our chaplet and complete our journey look into jesus hebrews 12:1 let us complete our spiritual journey our spiritual race look into the face of jesus the star of bethlehem and don't be disheartened what he promised you will get it i will get it that is my confidence i stand here what he promised he will fulfill in your life and in my life too only one amen amen only 10 amen amen say loudly hallelujah amen hallelujah amen then amen hallelujah amen hallelujah what is the meaning of amen hallelujah let it happen so let it happen so so when i say something you have to say in your spirit let it happen so in my life and in my family it will happen so so all all of you have to say amen hallelujah amen hallelujah you aspired jesus but the, the source of life gushed for, for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world of found of life and father of divine mercy envelop the whole, whole world and empty yourself out, out upon us O oh, blood and water, water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us I trust in you O oh, Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death Amen I believe in God the, the Father, Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and earth. I, I believe, believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only son, son our lord, lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection, resurrection of the body, body life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lifting up our hands, eternal Father, I, I offer you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, in atonement for our sins and, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Passion. Have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have a mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have a mercy on us and on the whole world. Sing together. We are on a pilgrimage. Our final destination is heaven. The Lord has promised you will get everything. You are going to have a wonderful family. I'm going to have a sound finance. Lift up your hands and sing together now. Those who have uh, those who have uh, problems in the families and finances, business, career, suffering from poverty, family disintegration, disunity, prayerlessness, disobedience of children, you are fed up in your family, you are tired in your business, lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray over the pilgrim Logosians. All of them be encouraged and strengthened in this pilgrimage through the promises that God has given to us. There is life in the promise and there is spirit in the promise. The Lord Almighty may give you today what he has promised connected with the family and finances. The assisting partner be filled with the Holy Spirit and be turned as the best partner. The assisting children be spirit filled. Those who want to have more children both the husband and wife, if they want to have children, let all of them conceive right now. Amen. In you, Jesus. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your finance increase and multiply according to Matthew 14, 19. Spirit of increase and multiplication may work in your bread, work in your fish, work in your material resources, the Lord may multiply your talents, your treasure, and your motivation gifts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Today, more than 7,000 families are blessed, saved, and turned as heaven on earth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your family also included in it. Amen. 7,000. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thousands and thousands are being saved every day. Millions and millions are entering into heaven every day. Millions and millions of angels are flying and moving in this world to help you and assist you. Because you have only one interest, to reach in heaven. What is your main interest? To reach heaven. To reach in heaven. So, the Lord will provide you everything if you are on the way to heaven. Those who are on the way to hell, even though they get anything, is it any profit? 
no use of it so god may not give everything because anyway they are going to hell only something they will get children of god whose head are already turned to heaven surely they will get everything whatever they want amen that is a promise jesus has given you believe yes father there are some enemies also trying to destroy you before you reach there there are enemies they are just grabbing your property destroying your life bad mouthing you and discouraging you there are many enemies around you are you interested to transform your enemies yes father then let us pray the second chaplet uh, second decade of the chaplet and pray the acp prayer daily do one acp prayer and join with us for acp prayer surely all the enemies of the humanity and the church will be transformed Amen. eternal father I, i offer you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up our hands thank you lord praise you lord all of you may stand up your enemies are going to be transformed now the enemies who grabbed your property going to give it back and robbed your money through cyber crimes they are giving you back everything that they have taken they are going to give you back because you have a promise that you are reaching to heaven before that all the promises that jesus has given to you will be fulfilled in your life Lift up your both hands. Strike our enemies with seven swords until they repent and transform. All terrorists and unjust warmongers everywhere in the world. Strike them, Lord, with all seven swords, especially the sword of Elisha, Messiah, and Saint Gabriel. All persecutors and doers of injustice. Strike them, Lord, with all seven swords, especially the sword of Elisha, Messiah, and Saint Gabriel. All liars, cheaters, exploiters, land grabbers, food adulterers, cyber criminals. Strike them, Lord, with all seven swords. especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all devil worshipers demon worshipers sorcerers and black magicians strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all acceptors of bribe strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel here after you will not see these seven groups of people around you thank you jesus in this that these people will be like philanthropist and benefactors and also help us in your life amen such thank kind jesus. of transformation going to happen because these seven groups of people are possessed by devil they want to turn this world as hell on earth but we don't allow it we don't allow these people to be perished 
and go to hell but we want to take them to heaven by our striking prayers amen amen thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus they are not spirit filled people they are highly filled with the demonic spirits so we have to save them if we if we don't strike them with seven swords like prophet elisha made a huge army into blindness if you are not using it such kind of weapons they will not be transformed jesus also used that elisha's weapon and made saul blind and also deprived of all his strength within 3 days he became a saint saint paul emerged from criminal soul so we have a duty together with the jesus together with elijah to turn the criminals into saints will you do that yes, then father. at least one time please do this acp prayer look at this crucifix extend your hands towards it look at the heart of jesus it is opened for blood that comes that falls on the crown of your head now that blood reaches to your heart from the heart it reaches to all body 14 persons who have a epileptic attack they are being healed by the blood of jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. Thank you, jesus. 23 demon possessed people are set free Amen. these demons Amen. have no right over them hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, jesus. Thank you, jesus. because demons utilizing some of the faculties of the people now all the demons look into this crucifix running away from you amen thank all those who look at this crucifix now even online devil and demons are coming out and bound at the feet of jesus, jesus. amen look at this crucifix all the devil and demons coming out and being bound at the feet of jesus, jesus. and all your sickness are being healed amen make the sign of the cross on your body the blood of jesus saves you kindly sit down let us pray for the healing of our inner wounds eternal father, father I, i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord, lord jesus, jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole, whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world lift up our hands praise and thank god Touch everyone, heal everyone, anoint everyone, oh Lord. Praise the Lord. 
we are going to have an inner healing that is also a by product of our relationship with jesus so when we believe in jesus and try to live according to this book you are on the way to heaven then everything that you will get it that is a fulfillment of the promise of the day in 18th century many people started moving from europe to america to a new land and a wonderful settlement there one family took some money and purchased a family ticket uh, for uh, five people to go to new york to resettle their life they started their journey from england to new york 40 days it would take that the ship would reach there and uh, this man the head of the family was thinking for 40 days what i have to give uh, food for my children i am a poor man somehow i managed a family ticket for five persons so he just purchased some dry bread dry fruits and some cheese and divided into 40 portions and daily he has to take one packet and give it to the people or give it to his members five of them eight they confined in their cabin they are not going out but food is free in the ship and it is included in the ticket but this man has ignorance and also they saw that in a distance people are sitting in the restaurant in the ship and eating very good food and the children are thinking that my father is a poor man so we cannot afford it other people are very rich they are enjoying many things and good food morning afternoon evening they have breakfast lunch dinner tiffin and all they are going there and eating and coming out and this the smallest boy was thinking always why my father is poor like this so i cannot enjoy anything and father strictly want because this boy would one day go out he had a suspicion then he has to pay a huge amount in the restaurant one day this boy escaped from the supervision of the father from his control secretly he went he was standing at the gate of the restaurant of the ship and uh, he is not going inside one lady who was sitting there and eating the dinner uh, had some suspicion why this boy is standing there he is not eating properly what happened he, she asked what happened to you come inside and eat the food no my father is a poor man i cannot pay for it do you have a ticket yes we all have ticket my child this your ticket includes all these food and all these facilities in the ship you come and eat he went inside and ate 38 days over like that now only one more day 39th day 40th day it will reach in new york and this boy went and ate 38th day the full dinner and his trousers also broken and he has a big stomach and went back very strong mind then the father found that uh, this boy ate and came from the restaurant did you go to the restaurant yes dad i went there did you eat the food i ate full who will pay for it dada you are a foolish man because of your ignorance we suffered all these days food is free there it is included in the ticket am i right you are right he rushed to the restaurant and asked and verified it is it true this boy said man what a fool you are is all free included in the ticket you already paid for it he was beating on his chest because of my ignorance because of my ignorance i put my family into starvation and what is the need of all these things brother sister i tell you when you believe in jesus when you believe in jesus you are eternal life is guaranteed when you believe in jesus and live according to this bible everything is free in this life lunch buffet dinner breakfast everything included in your faith amen, amen. because amen. this man paid the price on the cross thank you jesus you believe in him and enjoy everything in this life thank you accept the things taking you away from jesus rest of the things you can enjoy is for you he paid for it it is included in your faith in Christ Jesus a beautiful life wonderful life joyful life a pilgrim life is guaranteed because of your faith in Jesus because this man paid for it
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of our ignorance, we are not enjoying it. All of you may stand up. Now you have no ignorance. You are going to receive all the blessings. You are going to grab it. Only one thing that you should not grab it. What is taking you away from the communion of Jesus. That only you have to avoid. What all things? Taking you away from faith and Jesus and from the word of God. Say no. Rest of the things you say yes. Lift up your hands. All wicked spirit of ignorance. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit of Antichrist. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Bad Jesus. Bad spirits named Legion, Asmodeus, Ancient Serpent, Lucifer. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Wicked spirit of disobedience. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. All wicked spirit of black magic, spell and curse. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Blind and mute spirits. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit of infection. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit of bondages. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit, spirit of blocks and bondages. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet spirit of Jesus. Spirit of substance abuse. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Now, what do you have to do to enjoy wonderful things that Jesus has already paid and kept for you? What do you have to do? Lift up your hands. Only three things. Believe in Jesus. Live a life according to the word of God. Put your effort. 100% of harvest you will get. Thank you, Jesus. Those, those who believe, kindly sit down. Those who believe, only sit. Wonderful. All those who believe and they sit. Then lift up your hands. One more blessing going to add it in your life. Going to be added. That is your physical healings. Because Jesus already paid for it. For your healing, for your treatment, he already paid it. What is that? His wounds, his blood. You have to believe it and take it. Eternal Father, I, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world touch this crucifix place your hand where you have the sickness you are going to be healed by jesus by his wounds and sing together right now your healing is included in the suffering of jesus you are crucified with jesus there are blessings being crucified with Jesus. But we are going to be resurrected together with Jesus after some time. Let us sing together. Touch them and heal them. Heal their back pain. Restore their blindness. And heal their eyes. Restore their sight. Let your infection be healed. Parkinson's be healed. Psoriasis be healed. Those who are affected, afflicted by polio, let them be healed. Let their legs become strong. Let your ears be opened. Let your skin complaint be healed. Let the Lord increase your faith. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch and heal the Lord. Forty-nine people are healed of their kidney failure. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody's torn in the gallbladder is being melted and removed. Amen. Thank 
to Jesus. More than our 9,000 people increase of their faith. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Almost all have received a wonderful miracle now. They lost interest in committing sin. Amen. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your children at home lost interest in committing sin. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some children are interested in back cancering and stubbornness and substance abuse. Now they have no interest of it. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Their interest is in obeying you and praying with you. And earning with you. And spending with you. And walking with Jesus. That is their interest. Thank they Jesus. lost interest in committing sin. And the sinful events. Are not at all an attraction for them now. That is the biggest miracle in our life. Thank you, Jesus. We have no attraction towards sin. But only attraction towards Jesus, Jesus and his kingdom. That fascinating us. Now we lift up our hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So all that you heard today going to happen in your life when you say Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Eternal Father, I offer you the body Holy and blood, Lord, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ in the atonement for our sins and, and those, those of, of the, the whole world. world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Place your hands above your head. Now the Spirit of the Lord moving all over the world. You are going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This Holy Spirit gives you an assurance that your faith will be rewarded. Let the Holy Spirit descend upon you and give you wonderful blessings and anointing. Amen. Soon we are going to pray together for the fulfillment of our own cherished intentions. Jesus, Jesus son of David, have mercy on my special prayer intentions. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on my special prayer intentions. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on my special prayer intentions. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Closing prayer, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and treasure of your compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us, increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but the great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen.